wanted to um, I wanted to first like dispel your um, defensiveness about about just bringing artists to perform before audiences because one of the things that you do that's that is significant for us or is collaborate and I think that you do a lot of collaboration all around campus which means that um, and by you I mean to perform yeah, yeah. not necessarily you personally but but that certainly facilitates engagement because if the center is doing something you know um, so I think, I, I think you should and, take more credit for that. And I'll just to footnote that I, you know I've, I, that is a kind of engage that's a kind of engagement that's worth talking about as well. The way that the arts gets some of us engaged with colleagues that we wouldn't mm -hmm. be engaged with otherwise. We actually have something to engage over while yeah. we're around. Yeah. So anyway, just to um, and and in fact, um, so recent so we collaborated on this. Um, exhibition that we currently have at the center, which is called Sparkle and Twang, an American Musical Odyssey. The artist is Marty Stewart. He's a photographer, but he's also, not but, and he's also a really famous country, traditional country music performer. And Duke Performances had contracted with him to come and do a show, and Aaron called, and, and Tom and Aaron talked about the fact that, that Marty made this this work, this photographic work, and um, so we brought the show. Awesome, um, <laughs> but also when we when we went to see Marty's performance, uh, a couple of the ushers were very excited about the fact that there were so many people there that had never been there before, that they they'd never seen before. So bringing bringing that new audience in to experience new performances, and then um, by extension, having our postcards um, around or stuffed into the programs and um, announcing stuff about the exhibition being at the center also brings that audience to the center. Um, um, I, I also kind of wanted to jump on art as extracurricular activity, because I, I think we can't bang that drum quite enough. I, I think that that's a really significant deficit in um, American education broadly from, from beginning to, to end, um, which is that the, this, there's this idea that, that art is something precious and special and, and extra, and um, I, I strongly disagree. Um, I think art is essential, and I think art is math, and I think art is science, and there's all kinds of stuff about that, but I, I think that should be um, a part of our conversation. Um, I also, I also um, think that when we talk about engagement, um, a lot of times it's a project um, that is for a limited time frame, and everyone has this experience, and then it's over, and oh, how satisfying. And that's not really how, that's not how we experience engagement at CDS, because that's not how we see documentary work. We're really interested in, um, in relationship building, and then deepening and sustaining. So, you know, engagement is great, but it needs to lead somewhere. It's not necessarily, um, a thing, it's not necessarily the thing, um, just just like um, in the particular case that I want to talk about, um, art is not necessarily the thing. So uh, several years ago, the center um, supported a project um, in which we participated with um, uh, a branch of uh, Duke's Office of Community Affairs and um, uh, an entity in Southwest Central Durham, a community organization, um, to do this big public art project. And the, the desire to do this project came out of a relationship that our, um, our community programs program had with this community organization. And they'd done Work together in the past, and then they thought, well, let's maybe do this this bigger thing, this this community art project. And 
what would that look like? And maybe we could have some murals in the neighborhoods. And um, we brought in an artist who saw the experience of doing this as, as something quite different. He wasn't interested in, in making the art so much as he was interested in establishing relationships and using art making to, to establish relationships and deepen relationships. And so he made this investment in the community by showing up in advance of doing, um, of doing this project. And then while doing this project, we, we had these events, much as you're talking about with your theater piece, where people came together to make art. But there was also food, and there was mariachi. sometimes there was sometimes <laughs> there was mariachi. There was always music of some kind. Um, there there was uh, sometimes dancing. There were all kinds of activities that people could do, and they were making these murals. But they were also meeting their neighbors, and in some cases. Um, big administrators from Duke, and Duke professors, and Duke students, and how... He was also a visiting professor at the same time. Yeah, and he was a visiting professor at the same time. And, and what an amazing um, experience for Duke students to have the opportunity to actually go into Durham neighborhoods <laughs> um, and do things with Durham residents who are, in fact, um, not always so scary at all. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I think I think I want to just have the conversation now. <laughs> 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 all right.